guys have heard about the ramen repairs, right? I mean, this has been going around the internet for what, the past like two weeks or so? I believe it started in China where they have like damaged furniture and they like take a bunch of ramen, they crush it up, they stick it in the hole in the damaged furniture, usually it's a hole, and then they like pour tons of super glue on it. And then the super glue dries up and they paint over it and then they do a little bit of spray paint and it looks like brand new. But it's it's not the ramen. Really, you could just put anything in there. The super glue is kind of doing all the work. So to test my theory, we're gonna go through uh, the scientific method here and try out the ramen repair on this piece of wood that I got right here. I'll paint it. And uh, we're gonna make some holes in it and then try to fill it up with ramen and super glue. And then I'll also get some other stuff, whatever I have laying around the kitchen in the cupboards, try and repair with that and then clean it up at the end and see if there's any noticeable difference between all of it. All right, let's uh, go outside, get this board painted so it can dry off before we get started. All right, so. Now that we got the board all nice and painted black, we're gonna take some chips out of it and then try to fix them up right after. We got right here, obviously, the ramen. And then we got uh, some Cheez-Its over here. This is pretty similar consistency to ramen when it's all ground up. Some cashews. And the last one we're gonna try is just straight sriracha. Uh, this one I'm the most wary about. I'm not quite sure if the super glue is gonna be able to set when it's mixed with sriracha, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. Oh, also I might do one that's just super glue if I can get it to stay in place, but we'll see how that goes. First we need to chop this board up. Set this down here while we go to work. Okay, well board is a lot tougher than I expected, but luckily I brought the X-Acto knife. All right, this X-Acto knife is quite blunt. Uh, we also have some screwdrivers, so let's see what combination of the three works. Okay, that's a pretty nice indentation right there. Just make it slightly larger. Okay. That's a good first starting hole. As you can see with the screwdriver there, it goes in, I don't know, maybe a little less than halfway into the board, which is pretty good. Okay, let's just make some more. Three hours later. Okay, so we got our five holes of varying sizes and shapes. Uh, we got one for ramen, one for Cheez-Its, one for cashews, one for sriracha, and then one for just plain super glue. Okay, so. Generally in the video, he just takes something and kind of smashes it into the hole, crumbles it up a bit. This is a lot of ramen for the small hole that we have, so it's gonna make a huge mess. Break it like this. Kind of want it really mashed up nice and fine. Yeah, that looks like the videos, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, add the flavor packet, because why not? Next step, kind of similar consistency. We're gonna go with Cheez-Its. They look uh, good and smashed, maybe a little bit more Cheez-It dust. Don't breathe that. Okay, Cheez-Its are in. On to the next one. We got cashews. They're kind of dusty once you grind them up. Let's just uh, smash these with the hammer, there we go. Yeah, that's some wood looking dust. And then let's just sriracha up this hole and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, boy. Good bit of sriracha in there. Definitely in there. I don't know if super glue is gonna set with sriracha. We're not gonna use anything for the last one. We're just gonna do straight up super glue. I'm gonna do a little bit extra. Probably more than I need. Give me more work later on. And you're like, oh, you put down all these towels just to clean up the table easily. Well, yes, sort of. I mean, it does make the table a lot easier to clean, but I actually put down the towels for you guys because this wood is pure black, my table's pure black, and you'd be looking at a pretty boring camera shot except for all this dust around. If I didn't have some sort of contrast going on. Everything's looking good so far. 
We're gonna have to leave this to set for a little bit. I kind of went crazy with the super glue, and you know, when there's a lot of super glue in one place, it can take a little while to set. So, we're gonna come back to this once everything's all dried, and I'll probably clean off the board once the super glue is dried so you can see better. All right, so it's been about an hour or so. I gave the super glue some time to dry off. You can check it out here. See on the left there, we got the original ramen. Then we got Cheez-Its, the big wide one right there. We got the cashews, the sriracha, which is kind of interesting. It like formed all these crystals, kind of like repelled away from the sriracha. Um, and then the last one, which is just the plain super glue, which didn't really fully dry. Next step for us is gonna be right here. We're gonna be sanding it down with this coarse sandpaper. Then we got some fine sandpaper. If that goes well, then uh, we are going to just spray paint the rest of it and see how it looks. See what passes for a repair. Looks like charcoal, but it's really just paint dust. Of all of them, I'd say the ramen is not the hardest to work with. I'm just gonna use a fine grain sponge to sand off the rest of this. Oof, gotta work out from all that sanding. I was like getting a friction burn. Anyways, next step here is we're just gonna paint this board over and let it dry again. So, we're back. As you can see, it has been painted and we let it dry. We got right there. I know it's very hard to see. Let's get a little bit of light in here. We got right here, that was the ramen. Big splotchy, kinda, kinda gritty. Then we got the Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its turned out pretty good. Still a little bit splotchy. Cashews. Cashews did okay filling wise, but they didn't completely fill the gap. You can see there's still a tiny little hole in there. All right, Sriracha. Sriracha did not work. Sriracha like pushed the super glue away and it like hardened further away from the Sriracha in a weird like peely crystal pattern. And then the last one is just straight super glue, which uh, as you can tell there, kind of kind of left a hole still. Didn't do too well. It, most of it sunk into the wood. I mean, it did fill in a little bit. Out of all these, I'd say ramen and Cheez-Its were definitely the most successful. So yeah, that's uh, basically hypothesis proven. It doesn't really matter that you're using ramen. Some foods are better than others. What is this doing? This thing is not balanced at all. Yeah, so uh, if you want to do furniture repair, make more of these ramen trend videos, it doesn't have to be ramen. I'd recommend Cheez-Its actually. Cheez-Its seem to work much better than ramen. I guess because they're easier to powder or something like that. So yeah, that was the ramen repair. It's not even a challenge. We're just repairing things with ramen and comparing. I think you guys kind of already knew this. Anybody who has ever used super glue in their life knew that uh, the repairs could be done with anything semi-solid. I mean, I could even have stuck a wood varnish on that and spent some more time sanding. I only sanded for like 10 minutes and I could have made it nice and really smooth and polished, but whatever. I just set out with this video to prove that it doesn't really matter if you're using ramen or not. The whole ramen thing is just a joke. I know that's valuable information that you'll never use in your life. This was a stupid video about a stupid topic. Maybe I'll do some more of these in the future. Okay, see you later, everybody.